You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas, never stop, never quit. Never allow anyone to talk you out of the dream, the vision, and ideas that God has sent you. I'm taking shots at the enemy. I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy. If I got something to say, you better let me speak. While they judge you, you grind. While they make fun of you, you double down on your effort. While they sleep, you study. While they keep talking sh about you, you keep working. And years from now, when they look at their own life and compare it to yours, they'll look like sh in comparison to you because you will be miles ahead of them. You've got to focus on you. There's gonna be so much noise from the outside world trying to steal your focus, trying to tell you you're not good enough. There's gonna be haters all the time on what you're trying to accomplish in your life. You gotta shut them up with your results. The best way to silence them is through activity, through success. Who cares what they say? Who cares what they think? You've got to be so confident, so committed, so locked in on your mission that you don't even notice them anymore. They blur into the background while you focus entirely on your goals. When life presents its challenges, it's a call for you to stand up for yourself, to fight back. You're going to be attacked constantly by all these voices around you and sometimes within you. Don't let the negative thoughts or the words of others derail you. Affirm to yourself that you can do it. You can handle it. You're going to get through it. No small obstacle can halt your progress. The strategy is to keep your focus directed inward, consistently working on improving yourself, pursuing your dreams and building your future. Your success and achievements will speak volumes, serving as your comeback to any disbelief and negativity. Always remember the real victors in life are those who concentrate on their path, building their own road to greatness, undisturbed by the distractions that surround them. When you can focus solely on you, you stop giving a fuck about what others think. You activate your fuck it button. And this is what you gotta do if you wanna be successful. Because the world doesn't give a f about your dreams. It's gonna beat you down and take it all away from you if you let it. So you gotta decide that you're gonna stand up for yourself and you have to grind every fing day. You're gonna have to lose something where you're trying to go. You might have to give up some friends. You might have to give up some opportunities. You might have to give up some stuff in order to go from good to great. Develop a single-minded obsession with your goals. You have to eat, sleep, and breathe your dreams. Every action, every thought should be aligned with getting you closer to where you want to be. This process is about discipline. Pushing yourself even when you don't feel like it. It's about waking up every day, starving for success, ready to tackle whatever challenges come your way. And yes, it's going to be hard. People will talk, question, and doubt you constantly, but that's their problem, not yours. Your job is to stay focused and keep your eyes on the prize. Doing what you hate to do is one of the most powerful disciplines you can develop. It's about stepping out of your comfort zone, tackling the tasks you dread, and facing your fears head on. It's not just about enduring discomfort, it's about actively seeking it out and conquering it. And all these average people around you won't understand why you're doing so much, why you're trying so hard, why you won't just take a break and hang out with everybody. They won't get it. And that's why they won't ever reach the levels of success you will. Because as you stay focused on the goal at hand and you keep pouring in all this time and effort into that thing, you'll start to see massive returns on that investment. Normal people will keep judging you and won't ever understand and continue talking shit about you. Don't waste your time trying to change their minds. Just shut them up with your results. Because the best revenge in life is massive success. You prove them wrong with success. They won't have anything left to talk shit about. But in order to get to that point, you gotta have mental toughness. It's easy to do things when you feel like it, but doing something you hate, especially when you don't want to, is fucking hard. But the more you do it, the more you push yourself to execute when your body and mind tells you to take a break, the stronger your willpower to do hard stuff will become. You build your level of grit through completing hard tasks. They will make you stronger. 
The things we resist are the things that offer us the most significant opportunity for growth. By facing these tasks, you find new passions, develop new skills, and uncover strengths you didn't even know you had. And when you're working, you need to minimize distractions. In today's world, with constant notifications and interruptions, it's crucial to create an environment conducive to focus. Managing your time is absolutely essential. Don't just wing it. Plan your days and stick to that plan. Break your tasks into smaller chunks so you don't get overwhelmed and lose your mind. Stay on track and don't let procrastination get the better of you. The real champions of this world, they don't play around with focus like it's some short-term game. They commit to it like it is their lifeline. They lock in on their goals with a laser-like focus and they don't let go. Not for a day, not for a week, not for a month. They stay dialed in for as long as it damn takes. They treat their objectives not just as distant dreams, but as inevitable realities. Their goals are not mere wishes. They are future truths they're working to manifest. Every step they take, every decision they make is driven by an unwavering commitment to their vision. It's this level of dedication, this refusal to be sidetracked or derailed that separates the true achievers from everybody else in the world. You're going to have so many people tell you, you don't have what it takes. How are you, of all people? gonna do that you're being unrealistic you're not gonna make it don't believe a word they say you're gonna have to block out the noise of everyone around you and focus on yourself you go after and you give it all you had if you lose at least you tried man I fail. It's 10 times more of a man than someone said, what if? Because what if never went to the arena? It's not the genetic guy who wins, or the guy with the most potential that wins. It's a person with the greatest perseverance that wins. Always willing to get up and go at it again and go at it again. That's the guy who has his hand raised later in life, guys. That's the guy you guys need to be. Every true leader, they're called weird. When you do the things of real leadership, you're going to be called strange. You get strong enough in your own skin that when people laugh at you or when they throw stones at you, you keep on going. What are you going to do now? How are you going to control that now? How are you going to flip it upside down and say, Roger that, now I'm going to harness this shit and you'll read about me years from now. Everybody who wronged you in the past, they're going to have to feel you. They gonna have to see you. Don't get even. Don't worry about getting even when you already beat the eyes. You wanna make your dream come true, you gotta stay focused. Some people rather get even than get ahead. Stay focused on where you wanna go. I just kept on doing what I was supposed to do. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas, never stop, never quit. Never allow anyone to talk you out of the dream, the vision, and ideas that God has sent you. We all get knocked out. I've had my haters. I've had people who've come against me, who try to sabotage me. I'm like the lion. I'm not the gazelle. I don't need something external to motivate me. I find something within. You got to come out your comfort zone because your comfort zone is the deadliest place you will ever be. You should never feel comfortable. You should be happy and dissatisfied. Your ability to go all in, and when I say all in, I mean all the f in every moment, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every f***ing year for as long as it f***ing takes for you to get where you're going, you should be consumed with that path. What you do at night matters. What you do in the morning matters. What you do when your friends are out drinking matters. What you do on Saturday matters. What you do on Sunday matters. The success clock doesn't give a what day it is. It's going to run no matter what. And you guys pretend like you can work seven, eight, ten hours a day and then spend the rest of your time off and you think you're going to be somewhere and you're not. And you're surrounded by people who enable this thought process. Your good friends, your family, people who have accepted mediocrity as a life. Oh, you don't need to work on weekends. Why do you work so hard at night? Why do you get up so early and do that? Why do you train so hard? Why are you reading all these books when we're out drinking beer? When you're obsessed, they're like, why are you getting me so crazy? Why can't you be satisfied? Why do you always got to get things so perfect? When you're obsessed, people think you're nuts. Anybody ever tell you, hey, look, just be satisfied with what you got? No, don't believe them. Get them away from 
from you. You should never be satisfied with what you got. You should double your business because the attempt to get more makes you into something better. Easy never pays well. So if you're thinking that it's just going to be a walk in the park, you're dead fucking wrong. You have to give it every fucking bit of effort and energy you have to pull it off. And you have to work harder than everyone else. Work while they sleep, learn while they party, save while they spend, and live like they dream. I'm gonna find my meaning, I can make a change, I wanna play the game. You wanna-